Good morning guys, welcome back to Tomorrow Day Farms. Today we're actually going to do some baking. Um, I'm actually going to try to sell some of these to bring some money in onto the homestead. It's raining today, so I thought, not my favorite thing to do in the world, but we're going to get some baking done today and I thought I'd bring you guys along. So we're going to start with some apple bread and uh, I'm going to show you how I'm going to package that for sale. All right, guys, so what I, because <laughs> I started this and then I kind of lost count, so I had to start again. So uh, what I'm doing is I'm tripling the recipe. I will leave the single recipe down in the description box below. So this is nine cups, nine cups of flour. And then I'm going to add three teaspoons of ba uh, baking soda. So this is a really good freezer recipe as well, and that's why I thought I would show it. Um, you can cut this, put this into um, into pieces, and actually make like a really good French toast out of it. And then I need three teaspoons of salt. Actually, I'm just gonna. Oh. One, two, three, and then we need three teaspoons of cinnamon, and I do three heaping. sugar guys one second so what I'm gonna do today is I'm just gonna do a bit of baking try to sell it for money on the homestead and see what happens so it's two cups of sugar per batch and then I'll show you all the pans too that I'm going to use. You don't want to leave anybody out. Okay. So, just making sure I got everything, and I do. So I'm just going to take my wire whisk, 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 whisk. And this basically is simulating I'm sifting the flour. Okay. Getting out any lumps. Guys, I truly do know how to bake. I just, just not a huge fan. Much measuring. All right. This video will go up today. Um, I do have cloth underneath my bowl so it don't go anywhere. And I actually have an apron on, which is craziness. But when you're cooking for other people, you gotta be a little more careful. I have all the dogs out of the kitchen area. Everything's been bleached and wiped down. All right, that looks really good to me. Might actually put a little more cinnamon in there. I, I do find this um, recipe just calls for a little, I don't know, this is one of my Grandma Rose recipes. But you guys are going to see this bowl in the next few videos. Because i got some pretty exciting stuff coming up. Alright. Okay, so that's it for the dry ingredients. So I'm going to move that out of the way. And I have this bowl, and I need three eggs per recipe. I have my sink full of water, wash my hands. And I got my pig bucket right beside me. 
That's one batch. Ugh. Hate store bought eggs, guys. That's why I like using fresh eggs. But my girls are not producing since we did all that winterizing. I find store-bought eggs just crack so horribly. There we go. So we have to put an extra egg in there. Should be cracking in another bowl. I'm going to add applesauce instead of oil. A little bit healthier of an option. So I need half a cup of that and that goes into the eggs. And I'll leave a link to this video as well. I like baking with applesauce a lot more than oil a lot of times. I just have to open up my other jar. And if you have a, um, an area, this might be an option for you. You know, if you're just looking to make a few extra bucks for Christmas, or you want to do something for your homestead, like I want to get something. Um, this is kind of how I go about it. I try to make the money. It costs money to do it, so I make sure I make profit. Okay. So there we go. Then I need a teaspoon of vanilla. And it's just artificial vanilla. That real stuff is getting expensive. And vanilla beans are just stupidly expensive right now. Or I'd be making my own. And that's it. I just need my whisk. And we're going to whisk this up. And the applesauce just gives it, I like it better with applesauce than I do oil. It just gives it that extra little bit of texture. shift this back. Let's move this over. Alright, so now I have nine cups, or sorry, 12 cups of apples here. We're just going to drop these in. Michael helped me this morning and we got some pumpkins in the oven. I'm roasting off pumpkin for pumpkin puree. We seed saved. So now we are just going to coat all these apples in the flour mixture to ensure they don't sink. The apples will give off um, juice 
as this bakes. Now we're going to add our mixture here. I'm going to change to a wooden spoon. This smells so good. All right. And of course, I make a mess, right? I could try to back you guys up just a tad. There we go. I just don't want you guys to fall. Okay, and then it's going to look dry, but it doesn't turn out dry. Because like I said, the apples give off that moisture as they bake. This takes about an hour and a half to bake. The single recipe will do um, one two pound loaf. And if you feel like it is a little dry, because sometimes your flour can change, just add a little more applesauce. That's all I do. Or if you got happen to have a little bit of apple, apple juice in your fridge, throw that in there. Get working out your muscles today. Alright guys, I'm going to get this all mixed up and then I'll bring you back. All right, guys, so this is what it looks like when it's all mixed up. I added no liquid to it whatsoever. It just takes a few minutes. So what I'm going to do is I have these pans here. This I'm thinking for one person. This I'm thinking um, like a family. And then I have this pan here. And I'm thinking for two people give it a, a, a range so no one it feels like they're left out I guess um, so that's what we're gonna do so the oven was at 400 I've dropped it down to 325 for this recipe so my pumpkins are just gonna take a little bit longer but that's okay I'm just gonna spray these we are going to put um, uh frosting on top of this as well like a little drizzle this will rise a little bit as well but when i am selling something i try to think like the consumer so if i get something and there's like no apples in it or it's all bread and very little apple that really actually annoys me a little so It does cut into my profit, but if I ever try to sell something else and they've brought our product, then they're going to know there's lots of filling or, because I am going to try um, to sell some meat pies as well. So whatever you can do, because I mean, things are starting to slow down a little bit on the homestead. So um not as many outdoor products we got the greenhouse yet to put up and we're going to work away at that um hopefully tomorrow because i'm just going to put these out for sale at the end of our driveway or at our public library which is right around the corner and i will post it on our buy and sell with lots of pictures I mean we have a really good camera and Michael and Cody actually take phenomenal pictures I'm not I'm not so uh, good at that but get them to take some pictures and uh, post it on our buy and sell I'm not sure what you guys call it in the States we call it a buy and sell here and every little town pretty much has one fill this one up Just a little bit more. I can't, I just, in my heart, guys, I can't be skimpy. In my heart. I want people to eat, eat our food and be super happy. I'm gonna put 
put that one there for now. We're going to fill this one up. And then I'm going to fill as many of these as I can. Um, I might do a couple rounds of these um, containers here. This makes like a one pound loaf. These are items in our, our my kitchen that I definitely do not use often. I used to make uh, my father-in-law these all the time. I should send some love from the north to the south, that's for sure. But he is training for a marathon and I'm super proud of him. We are going to go back south when he does that and we're going to surprise him. We're not going to tell him we're coming. And cheer him on because we are so darn proud of him because it's been a hard year. All right. So I'm going to get these done. I'm going to pop these into the oven and then I will show you what they look like when they come out. All right, guys, here they all are. Now, this is just the apple loaf. Um, we are going to work on a couple other things, but those will all be separate videos. But that's what I got, and I think that's a really good start. So this will be for two people. This will be for one person. This will be for a family, okay? And then um, when I go to package them, I'll just do some icing sugar, butter, and a drop of milk and a little bit of vanilla, and then I'll just sprinkle it on. But they need to cool, and uh, I want to get this video uploaded for today. So I just wanted to share this with you today. And if you know of anybody that could use this recipe, share it for me. That would be awesome. And this is a really easy recipe. Um, normally it takes two or three, depending on how big your apples are, uh, of these loaves just for the single loaf. So you will get a good amount in your freezer for whenever you have company pop by or you want to make some French toast with it. Whatever you may want to do. So if you guys could hit that thumbs up, let me know what you are and are not liking on the channel. And uh, hit that subscribe button because there's a lot more coming. And I'm just going to pan you up so you can kind of see. That's pie pumpkin, guys. <laughs> That'll be another video for you guys. But here we go. Here's apple pie, apple loaves. All different sizes. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you guys super soon. Bye.